Hello and welcome to Ben's Works. Before we jump into this week's episode, I just want to mention that you might hear a bit of rain noise in this video, and that's because at the moment, Queensland and northern New South Wales are experiencing some pretty heavy rains. There's a lot of flash flooding around, so I hope everyone stays safe. So I just thought I'd let you guys know what that noise is in case you're wondering. Most of you might remember when I made the wasp life cycle that I had a leftover wasp nest and I asked you guys what you wanted me to do with it. And the most common answer was make a shift knob or a gear knob. So that's what we'll be doing this week. So the plan for this one should be pretty easy. I'm just going to cast this in some amber resin and then once it's cured I'm going to glue that to a piece of wood and then we'll put it on the lathe and turn the gear knob. There is one more thing I'm going to add. Do you guys remember when I made the wasp light? Most of you guys said I should have added a wasp to the top of the nest. Well, look what I found. I reckon that's going to look great sitting on top of there. Jeez, the rain's really coming down now. Before we take this casting out of the pot, I've got a couple more stickers to add. I've got little warrior shields and custom creations. Alright, let's hope the little wasp didn't fly away. I guess you guys already know because you saw pot cam. Mm. 
Well, that turned out a little different. The wasp is covered in a bubble layer, but it almost looks like a titanium suit of armor. So the next thing we need to do is take it out of the cup. I'm gonna sand the bottom flat, glue it to a piece of timber, and then turn it on the lathe. I forgot to mention at the start of this video, I'm gonna be giving this gear knob away. So stick around till the end of the video, and I'll tell you how you can win it. I often get asked why do I swap lathes to sand and the reason is I wet sand a lot and I make a big mess and I just don't want to have that mess around my expensive lathe. Before we take a look at this awesome piece, let me explain how you can win it. So to enter is really simple. All you have to do is leave a comment on this video and let me know what vehicle you'd put it on. And if you don't want to put it on a vehicle, let me know what else you'd use it for. Maybe a bottle stopper? It's really that simple to enter. Now in a month's time, I'm going to randomly choose a comment and send you out this shift knob. Now you will notice I haven't drilled any holes in the bottom. That's just in case you guys don't want to use it as a shift knob, so you can do whatever you like with it. And another thing, if you want more entries into the drawer, you can leave as many comments as you like. So it's now time to take a look. <laughs> 